<clears throat> well, just you can see what we just saw coming over. That was the PA 2880 Choco Marfa we just seen came over this afternoon. Anyway, this is the Bobby PA 28 that we just seen came over this afternoon anyway. Which, um, technically, this is the one that's based down at uh, Pevenpool Fairfield anyway. So, technically, this is the one that's based down at uh, Pevenpool Airfield anyway. Which, this is the one that's operated by Pevenpool Flying Club anyway. And, just as you can see, just from here, he came here, just, just probably just, just, just to about 1,400 feet from there anyway. So, he came here just about 1,400 feet from there anyway. Where we saw it coming, he was literally just about 1,400 feet from there anyway. The way it was to start, to start with, he was around 1,375 feet anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. But anyway, just as you can see, just from here, he just took off from his base down at uh, Pevenpool Fairfield, just around um, 3.53 p.m. anyway. So, literally, that would have took off from... It's based down at Pampoff Airfield, just around 3.54 p.m. anyway. So, technically it would have been after 3.53 p.m. anyway. So, yeah. <clears throat> but as you can see, just from here, he's just... He's just flew past over Hale anyway. Just over on the north side of Hale anyway. And as you can see, he nearly ended up just over on the on the southwest anyway just probably more like over on the northwest near Mount Zion anyway which that's where he's died from anyway as you can see then he flew past uh, Godolphin Cross and yeah and flew past just over Wendron anyway and all of a sudden for some for some reason he then just turned anyway as he was coming towards my house anyway for an overhead pass anyway so yeah and just you see he's just he's just came for an overhead pass anyway so technically he just came for at least an overhead pass anyway so yeah but hopefully he should be going back to his base at Poundport Airfield very soon anyway which hopefully will be heading back there in a short time hopefully he should be heading back to his base at Poundport Airfield very soon anyway so yeah Especially we've got a few helicopters on the go at the moment. We've got the Coast Guard and also the PIM Dollar Group, which that one we will see in the couple in the couple of few minutes time anyway. And also we've got this Navy Merlin Mark II as well, which that one has just been trained out of Pamboff Bay anyway, which that one has just been trained out just over Hollywell anyway, which that one we might be able to see just before this turns up anyway. Just before the PIM Dollar Group helicopter turns for a fly pass anyway so yeah I think the next one we might, might be able to see is the Merlin Mark 2 hopefully I think that'll be the next aircraft to see I think anyway which I think that'll be the military one anyway so yeah that'll be the military one we will see next anyway and possibly this one hopefully the PIM Dollar Group which is the Eucopter SA Doffy 55 Yule 2 hopefully to see next so yeah Okay, so yeah, but anyway, as you can see, the Coast Guard helicopter is just, as you can see, it's just, he's just been out doing some training anyway, been out doing some search and rescue and training just over on the northwest. But as you can see now, he's just, he's just over to do some search and rescue and training just over Port Truth anyway. So yeah, he's just over Port Truth at the moment, so yeah. Anyway, let's go back to the pipe anyway, so yeah, but as you can see, the pipe here 28, that will be heading back to his base at Pernambuco Fairfield very soon anyway so yeah but I'm not sure I'm not sure we're going to be able to see the Mellon Mark 2 but but I'm just thinking the Mellon Mark 2 that might be flying by the similar way back to Cold Rose I think anyway which we might be able to see it but we don't know so yeah we might not we might be able to see the Mellon but I'm not sure depends if it goes for a fly by or not I don't know depends if it comes over for a fly by or not so yeah we just have to wait and see so yeah Okay, so, yep, thanks for watching, bye-bye. And also, because of that, we've got the PIM, PIM Dollar Group coming, possibly next, anyway, so, yeah. Okay, so, yep, thanks for watching, bye-bye.
<clears throat> well, as you can see, once again, we're now seeing the second flight pass we just now seen from the Pi PA28 this time, anyway. But it looks like this is now to his um, second round we've just now seen this time. Anyway. This is the second flight pass we've now seen this time from the Pi PA28 once again, anyway. So, yeah. But just you can see this time, this is the second flight pass we've just now seen from Pi PA28 this time anyway. With this, it's basically with the same registration GCDEO that we've just seen anyway. But as you can see, he's now decided that he's coming for the second flight pass now anyway. He's now decided that he's coming for the second pass now anyway. So yeah, he's just now came here for the second flight pass now anyway. So yeah. As you can see, the registration is the same one. This is the GCDEO anyway. But, whereas if this time he's came here to about 11, just probably just around 11,000 feet this time anyway. So this time he came here to about 12,000 feet this time anyway. But, a word to me, he's came here much lower than what you think it will be this time anyway. So he's came pretty much, pretty much low this time anyway. Just around... 11,075 11, feet this time anyway, so technically he was nearly he was nearly about 12,000 feet this time anyway, but this time he's came, he's came even lower this time though. So yeah, especially we saw him with his um, lights on here, especially because of his um, land, the landing lights were on apparently. We just saw the light came on anyway. So yeah, technically we just saw the light that just uh, show up it did anyway the landing light just show up on that anyway but it's it seems to be doing his proper lessons anyway but especially it's going around doing a few laps anyway so yeah it's just going around doing doing a few laps anyway so yeah technically he's just I think he's just going around doing a few few um few laps anyway so yeah but as you can see yeah again he's just took off from his base step pample fairfield but Obviously, because of this time, he took off at his base to Pample Fairfield just around 4.56 p.m. this time anyway. So, yeah, again, he's just took off from his base down at Pample Fairfield just around 4.56 p.m. anyway. So, technically, nearly 5 o'clock anyway. So, nearly 5 o'clock it took off anyway. So, that would have took off at least just before 5 o'clock anyway. Just before 5 o'clock anyway. So, yeah. As you can see, he was pretty much on, pretty much on the same path anyway just over on the north side of Hale anyway and then just from here but this time he's still flown past over Crowdless anyway so this time he's just flown over uh, Crowdless this time anyway and somewhere near Marazine anyway just over on the northwest so yeah but as you can see like this time he's came he didn't he kind of almost came from overhead another overhead pass this time but obviously he was pretty much close and where he was from the first part anyway because the first part he came here for um, overhead pass last time ago but now this time he's just came he came further away this time though apparently this time he came further away from my house anyway but this is the second time that we've just seen the Papier 28 came for the second pass this time anyway so yeah or not less it could be going around doing a few circuits a whole of um, north and south Cornwall anyway which I think it could be going around just doing something for the whole of south and north Cornwall anyway so yeah okay so yeah so that looks as if that's probably going to go back to his base at Pample Fairfield very soon anyway which I think is on his way back there now anyway so yeah okay so yep thanks for watching bye bye